Ja, het is uh, een nieuwe dag in uh, ons dorpje hier. Coronaki, zoals we het gedoopt hebben. En ja, Bo ligt net op de... It is another beautiful day in our uh, little uh, camp, our town. Coronaki, how we uh, named it. It is uh, quiet in the camp because the neighbors are off uh, with the bikes to the big supermarket in the next bigger town, Stupa. I was there yesterday with Marijke on the bike. It's a very nice uh, supermarket. It's um, a lot of choice, a lot of vegetables and fruits and stuff. So, uh, yeah, and Colin is uh, working uh, on that side, the van. Mike is walking with Lily, so, and um, this uh, morning I got, uh, my dad sent me the link to a YouTube video from the song Easy Living from Uriah Deep, and uh, yeah, that was like the nail on the head, it really is uh, down here, so I made, um, I'm trying to make a sign, I put the letters on with uh, a marker, and now I'm gonna use this set uh, where they, we've got the uh, where I can take it out so the letters will be in there and then see if I color them with ash or whatever I, I don't know yet but uh, yeah it's um, making a science of craft say we have to fix my guess, uh, house number <laughs> we made that yesterday we are already on um, or oh, she's already on the Easter deco decorations, and um, but we have to uh, get the the glue stick out, Let's cut it off, and uh, there's a little piece in, so we have to put that through and put in the extra strong because the stones, if you tap down or whatever, then the stones fall off. So uh, yeah, so when when my sign is ready, it will be somewhere on the side of my van or something. So yeah. Another great day in Greece. I'm quickly gonna walk both to the beach. Let us swim for a minute. Cool down. Before uh, we get to midday, it's around 11 now. And then uh, and, uh, can continue with uh, my sign. Pellet wood is not the best to do uh, leather carving because it splinters very easy on the edges. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. You can always do another one. Today we're going to start a, a new experiment. Um, this Dutch oven uh, car siren. We're going to put that um, after the fire tonight when the, there's just like uh, red hot coals. We're going to put it on with bread dough. So uh, Mike is preparing the dough now. I just oiled um, the pot again. And um, now I'm going to put breadcrumbs in so uh, the dough doesn't stick uh, too much. And then um, tonight it's going on the fire. And uh, I'm very curious to see what the result will be. If we got a nice fresh bread tomorrow or if it was a waste of... Uh, perfectly good dough but we'll see and uh, yeah I'm optimistic that it will work and um, enjoy a nice fresh bread in the morning again yeah, hundred drachmas mm -hmm. I'm rich no I'm not really <laughs> can you change them I don't that's good one get you five I thought I don't want to change it's though. not gold no <laughs> We've been delivered a bit more uh, dirt. <laughs> ah, yeah, the kids can play with it. Tonight we've got an experiment going. I've got one of those cast iron Dutch ovens, big pot for on the fire, or actually not on the fire fire, but like this on the on the coal. And uh, yeah, there's bread dough in it. So when the fire um, died down, we just put the pot in, put some coal on the lid, 
and I'll just leave it and um, tomorrow morning we hopefully have a very nice uh, freshly baked bread but yeah <laughs> it's an experiment so I'll show you guys what came out in the morning but it looks cool you guys have uh, Eastern here it uh, is still another week out but look what Colin made a beautiful Easter bunny cut out carved out in stone yeah I already showed you guys uh, the video clip from last night we had an experiment with our bread and uh, yeah let's see how it looks oh it's quite dark but we'll take it out put it on a plate and cut it let's see how it looks but i need another hand for that look at that it is uh, way better than i expected it from the outside it's just a very crunchy crust and but look crust is a bit tough but we just i'll try to get uh, thin slices off and then uh, try it it, it it's really, it really looks nice. It's uh, um, linseed, walnut, and a mixture of uh, whole wheat and uh, and uh, flour. So yeah, let's see. I already finished one slice, and I can say it is delicious bread. The crust is a little bit crusty, crispy, but uh, yeah, it's very nice bread. This is one of the walking paths we can uh, follow from our camp. This is uh, one of the small back roads to town, but uh, yeah, just a few houses, not really traffic, just people who actually live here. And there's also holiday homes, so uh, yeah, you can see uh, the sea through the trees there. Yeah. The mountains in the background. I'm uh, just walking Bo, so she, <laughs> but she wants to go to the sea, but she can't go in the sea today because yesterday, late in the afternoon, when the sun was down enough, she had the uh, spot on uh, against fleas and ticks and all kinds of stuff. Fleas is not really a problem, but ticks are. Uh, last week she had a few, so uh, yeah, it was about time to get a new uh, spot on for her. But then uh, she can't get into the water for at least a day. So that's why I did it late in the afternoon. So if she can't go in today, then tomorrow it's at least day and a half. Or maybe just even two. So that's better. So I'm just walking uh, Bo. And then uh, we'll... Uh, Marijke and myself are going uh, on the bikes to the supermarket in uh, Stupa. So that's always uh, nice. It's a nice big supermarket with a lot of fruit and vegetables so, uh, and other stuff. So yeah. We are in uh, Stupa. Marijke, Colin and myself took the bikes. We're going to the supermarket. And we just stopped for uh, a drink at the only place that's open. It's really beautiful and you can imagine that with a normal summer this beach is packed with all those beach beds and not that pretty as it is now. So yeah that's uh, an advantage of the lockdown but of course it's not that good for business because yeah everything's just close. Just the bar behind us is open and we had a drink but yeah. At the supermarket in our village too uh, so uh, it's quite loaded Mike got a backpack Colin got his in the child seat so we're all packed part of uh, our groceries uh, today it isn't everything it wouldn't fit on the table some stuff is already inside and uh, paper a hammock I wanted a hammock so I'm very curious when that thing is up if it works <laughs> and uh, 
Yeah, this is our grocery haul, all part of our grocery haul from today.